Hello everyone and welcome to this Unity tutorial where we'll be creating an effect around the edge of the screen using a particle system. So let's demonstrate quickly what we want to do. So as we see we have a, an effect around the screen edges, the bottom and the top. That doesn't really depend on the world and is completely separate from the world viewing camera. So if we do something like this, if we add an, a post-processing effect to the actual world, so let's say a vignette, let's say we put a lot of vignetting so we see what's going on. You can see that the particle effects is still rendered above it, so this is immune to post-processing, so to speak. So for this tutorial I downloaded a package of the asset store for the smoke effect. Uh, I will be linking the package in the description, so let's get to it. We have two scenes, this is the done one, and this is the not done one where we'll be creating the effect. So first and foremost, you can see we have our main camera. We can look around freely, just like in the finished version. And the first thing we need to do is we need to create a new camera. So go to game object camera, let's put it under the player, let's just reset the transform, actually let's just put it under this camera so we make sure it's at the same position. Okay, so we have two cameras, let's rename this camera into effects camera and press enter. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to change the clear flag to depth only. There we go. The next thing you want to do is you want to create a layer for the effects. I have already done that and I call the layer screen effects. But don't set this camera to that layer. We'll use that layer right now for this thing. Go to culling mask and the quickest way to do it is to click nothing and then just click screen effects. This will cause the Unity camera to render just the effects and nothing else. Okay, now that that's done, we can set the depth uh, to for example 1. Zero also works, but I never like to use depth zero because the main camera's default depth is minus one. So this one will be rendered on top of the main camera. The next thing we want to do is let's go to the particle effects that we downloaded off of the asset store. Let's go to effects, uh, let's take a smoke effect and I'll take a smoke grenade additive. And out of this one, I will just take the inner one. I'll first unpack the prefab take the inner smoke, put it under our effects camera and delete the old one. Okay, so we have this smoke effect. Now we'll do a little tweaking. First of all, we'll put the looping in here. Second of all, we will change the shape of the particle effect from hemisphere, which is here, to an edge. Okay, so you can see we have something weird going on. So it's emitting from an edge, but it's emitting in the wrong direction. But that's fine, we can fix that. In the shape, just go to rotation and type minus 90, or actually 90 if you want to make it go all the way to the top, and change the layer of the effect to screen effects. There we go. So now, what we want to do is we want to bring it up close to the camera. We can actually put it, for example, like a zero, up, oh, not zero, actually, we have to put it a little bit forward. Now, let's, let's do it like. Let's do it like this. You can just adjust it however you would like. Now let's increase the edge. So go back here to the shape, or actually the radius, what it's called, and increase the radius to whatever you think is just fine. I'm gonna put it to, I'm gonna put it to two. Now we go to, let's, let's decrease the speed because I think this is just a little bit too fast, from 0.5 to one. Okay, now this is looking much better. Let's reduce the lifetime to maybe one second. Okay, so we have something that looks okay. And I'm just going to move it down a bit because I just want the edge of the screen to have the, the particle effect. I think this looks pretty nice. Now to do that to the top, we just duplicate it. We go to the shape and change the rotation from 90 to negative 90. Negative 90. Drag it all the way to the top and here it is. Okay, so now if you go here and disable the main camera, you can still see that the effect is rendering, but if we turn it on, we can see that the screen effect is rendering around our edges of the screen. 
Now, of course, you can just play with the effects, tune them however you'd like. And that's about it. That's the simplest way you can have a screen edge effect for a camera. For example, you don't need a clipping plane so far, 10 will be just enough. You can adjust the near plane. So, yeah, this is the way to do it. Just change the calling mask to the layer you want to render it on. And also don't forget to go to the main camera, go to calling mask and uncheck screen effects. So that way it doesn't render twice. So you have just one one time rendering. Okay, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. This was created on the request by a Reddit user. Uh, I will be linking the Reddit thread in the description as well. Thank you for watching and I'm looking forward to any new requests for tutorials. Goodbye.